good evening and uh, welcome to Pacific Islands Television's live coverage of the World Cup. And uh, tonight, of course, we are covering the match between Samoa and Tonga. Of course, Samoa is uh, expected to win this handsomely. They have won every game thus far. But we uh, expect tonight is going to be a very, very, very tough match. In fact, a very, very, very close one to call. And we're very privileged to have with us uh, someone who has played for Manu Samoa, also played with the All Blacks, uh, more recently has been playing rugby in the United States. Of course, his name is uh, Simi Tutu Valley. And uh, very, very privileged to have him with us uh, here today. Uh, Sumi, tonight's game between Samoa and Tonga, tough game to go, uh, call. Which way do you see tonight's game going? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, God, please. Uh, thank you very much for that, uh, Simi. Uh, perhaps in English, of course, all our, our listeners and viewers are English speakers. Uh, could you tell us, tonight's game between Samoa and Fiji, uh, not Fiji, sorry, between Samoa and Tonga, going to be very tight. Which way do you see the game going? <laughs> Which way do you see the game going between Samoa and Tonga? Which way? Yes. <laughs> that way. I'm, I'm sorry? You know, see those two bows? Yes. Yeah, that way. Uh, perhaps I'm not making my, myself clear. Uh, who's going to win tonight's game? Oh, thank you for the question. Uh, Samoa will be playing against the win in the first half. Fiji will play with, uh, I mean, Tonga will play with the win. Oh, sorry, uh, yeah, perhaps I'm confusing you. At the end of the game, when the final whistle blows, uh, which team will have more points? No, which team is going to progress through to the next round, perhaps, of the Rugby World Cup? Which team will, will win? Yeah. Thank you for the question. Uh, you see that up there? Uh, yes. Yeah, that is a scoreboard. Okay. Usually at the end of every game, that will give you a good indication who will win the game. Uh, we have uh, crossed live now into the dressing rooms. Uh, here we're looking at the Manu Samoa players, uh, you know, getting ready half an hour before kickoff. Uh, perhaps, uh, Simi, as someone who's been in that position, you know, many, many times, uh, perhaps you could um, talk us through what is going through the minds of those players now, half an hour before kickoff. What's going through their minds? <laughs> Simi, what's going through the minds of those players now, half an hour before kickoff? What's going through their minds? Yes. I don't know what's going through their minds. You think I'm a mind reader or something? I'm not a psycho. Uh, yes, of course, uh, Samoa's front row uh, suffered some injuries this week uh, in the lead up uh, during training. Uh, perhaps the, the Tonga forward pack could be too much of a proposition for Samoa, you think? It's too much of a proposition? Oh, th thank you for the question. Uh, I think it's equal. Equal because Samoa has two prop positions. And Tonga has two prop positions. Okay, yes. Uh, uh, yes, uh, as, as a prop yourself, of course, yeah. um, you, know, what, what, you know, when you suffered an injury, yeah. did you use any tactics to overcome the fact that you were a bit weaker in the mm. scrum? What tactics did you use, or you know, what tactics would you use tonight as a prop? Tactics? Yes. Uh, for me personally, I like to use Listerine. <laughs> you know, I, I wake up in the morning, I brush my teeth, and then I like to, you know, fresh my teeth. <laughs> Sorry. It's not fresh. I like to frost my teeth. I don't like a tactics that make too much noise in my pockets like a rattle rattle. Okay. <clears throat> yes, of, 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 of course, as a, as a prop, you were the anchor of the All Blacks uh, scrum, weren't yeah, you? Yeah. Could you tell us a little bit about that, you know, being the anchor of the scrum? I, I used to be the anchor in the scrum. Uh, but after, you know, have a counseling and people's help me, when I go into the scrum now, I'm cool, calm, and collection. Yeah. 
She no more anchor in the scrum. Yeah, uh, perhaps with, with uh, tonight being a really, really, really tight match, it could come down to leadership. You know, yeah. you being a former captain of uh, Manu Samoa, could you tell us, you know, what do you do uh, when you're behind by, say, three points on the scoreboard uh, and only five minutes to go? What do you do? What do you say uh, as a player and as a captain to get your team to, you know, play that much harder in the last few minutes and win the game when you're behind on the scoreboard? Behind on the scoreboard? Yes. Well, I can't see anything if I'm behind on the scoreboard. <laughs> and if I try to call it out to my team, they can't see me because I'm behind the scoreboard. Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, thank you very much for that, Sydney. Uh, before we do go uh, to a break, uh, one more question. Uh, the field, of course, is in perfect condition, uh, well prepared by uh, you know, the, the staff here at the grounds, uh, but as someone who's played American, uh, you know, football and, and, and rugby in America, you have played on artificial surfaces, haven't you? Hey, you hey. know, so as a player, you know, perhaps rugby could look to the future to use artificial surfaces. What's, what's your view uh, on, on playing surfaces as a player? Do you prefer AstroTurf or do you prefer grass? AstroTurf or grass? I've, I've never smoked AstroTurf before. <laughs> I wasn't talking about grass, the drugs. I wasn't talking about grass, the drugs. The drugs. No, oh, no, not grass. No, no, no way. Children at home, don't do the drugs. Very bad for you. Uh, perhaps you could explain to our viewers what you were talking about uh, in the grass. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what I mean was, when I was younger, I was so fast. I used to smoke the crowd. Uh, well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're going to go uh, to a break now. Don't go away. We will be back with more expert commentary and Simi Tutu Valley. <laughs> Who brought this guy in? I refuse to work with this guy as a commentator. Hey, you got an astro too?